Hey, Piper. Just uh, smoking a little old cigar here. I fixed to put it down and fire up a pipe because we got a got a yapo, and I'm going to want to try one of those for sure. And I think one of them I've already tried, but. Really enjoying this uh, good everyday smoke from uh, uh, the Florida Oliva from Oliva. <coughs> the um, Wiz D, <laughs> I had uh, shown this one the other day. Uh, it was uh, Mayor <laughs> Mayorga. It's a little Nicaraguan. Uh, this is one of the ones, and I said, you know, this little El Chipo. This is the uh, Maduro, and he said, give it a try. It might become one of your favorite everyday smokers. And Wiz, I tried that, brother. Uh, I hadn't tried the Maduro yet, but you you are very very correct on that. It's this could run a good race for one of my, and this is around the 450 range too. It's not super expensive, and uh, and by the way, really enjoyed your uh, tour on the humidor. Man, you've got an awesome uh, humidor, really do. But I do have a Yapo. Today and it is from good friend Aaron Strange. This comes from Florida, and we're going to get this opened up here and fire a bowl of it up using my little uh, this little buck knife here. It's a little mossy oak type, and we're going to get this little little jewel fired right up here. And let's get her unwrapped. Done a really good job here in wrapping this. All right. And that's what we got here. All right. Let's see here. Really wrap this up really good. We've got, oh my goodness, let's see. This is more than I thought he was going to send here, but. I had in my mind what I was going to smoke. And uh, now I don't know. <laughs> All right. Uh, and. With just the sun kind of went behind the clouds here, so y'all bear with me. I think I'm fixing to turn on a, a light so we can see a little better. Y'all hang on just a second. I'll be right back. It seemed to be a little better. I hadn't. Um, I just opened the blinds on the window so it was so pretty outside, but the clouds come and go a little bit, so. So, we have, let's see, we've got several blends here to look at. We've got Dutch Masters Whiskey Cabin Dish, and I like anything liqueur based. Man. Well, you can smell the Cavendish in it. And it's got a smooth, smooth whiskey smell in this. It smells good. I say you can smell the Cavendish. I don't know if this is a sweet Cavendish. It does smell like a naturally sweetened Cavendish. 
All right, and then we've got a sample here of <laughs> I'm good at I'm good at tearing up these uh, words, these names here. Hakololo. Let's say here. Yeah. Get her opened up and take a whiff of that. Oh wow. Man, that smells really good. I might have to do a little research on that. It's a pretty pretty tobacco too. Look at that, y'all. It's got a heck of a tin note or bag note. And we've got some Peterson's Irish whiskey here. Got a good good aroma there. Looking forward to trying that one. And um, this is some Sutliff Kentucky Planter. This is probably my favorite of the uh, Sutliff lines that they sent out to do the review on. It's just a good burly mix and um, <laughs> this wound up being my favorite of all of them that they sent. And he said he had a little of it left and uh, and I will certainly smoke it. And last but lot, not least is one that I've been wanting to try and that's MacBaron Symphony and I will Probably find this one up. Now. Oh, it's got a good, good smell to it. And what I'm going to be smoking it in, this was next in the rotation. This is a uh, the Lord Overlanny Dublin. Been Dublin. Blasted. Uh, this, I got this about three years ago from uh, the pipe and tobacco shop in Little Rock, Arkansas. Down on University Avenue, right down by the Razorbacks place. So let's get this packed up and fired up. This was one of the MacBarons that I had not tried yet. And thanks, Aaron, for giving the opportunity to try it. Thanks for all of it. I appreciate it. So let's get this little little Dublin fired up here. And we gonna smoke us a bowl of bash or so. And so far, so good. Uh -huh. You know, a lot of people, I'm a big Mac Baron fan, and a lot of people, <clears throat> you know, say they get tongue bite. I, I have gotten on some things, some tongue bite. Uh, I tend to get it off Peterson. I love Peterson. Love it. I've got several blends, and uh, I, I tend to find that more in the Peterson line. But uh, a lot of I've got a lot of friends that have shied away from the Mac Baron because they say of the tongue bite. Let's go to their website. I wanna I wanna read on there real quick what uh, the symphony. is. Okay, have to be eighteen to enter. <laughs> I guess that'd be me. Five tobacco products. Oh, no, maybe I should only throw it out tobacco. No? Okay, we got Harmony, Virginia number one, Virginia Blend, Cherry Ambrosia, Black Ambrosia, that's what. Uh, Governors is ordering for me. 
Club Blend, Dark Twist, Stockton. All right, let's go back the way we came. And I'm picking up some Virginias in here, but I may be all wet. <laughs> Well, we're all the way over into the HH series. Yeah. Let's try our different way. Well, I'm liking it, I guarantee you. Symphony. Symphony. It says like into an orchestra filling the air with sweet and tender notes. The McBaron Symphony pipe back it leaves you begging for an encore. A grand composition of select burleys, golden Virginias, and original. McBaron Cavendish produced fragrant, natural tobacco sweetness and slight notes of chocolate. When I can see that. And I'll certainly taste in the Virginia's. <clears throat> and then beginning to taste the, the Burleys. Now the, the Cavendish don't seem extremely prevalent in this thing, but uh, the Virginia's are, Virginia's are good. So thanks again, Aaron. I appreciate it, brother. Really enjoying this. This old pipe, this is one of my... I didn't really get into collecting pipes till oh, two, two and a half years ago when I got into the YouTube thing. Other Up until then, I... I had a couple of three Dr. Gray bows and a couple of basket pipes and one Savinelli and I just smoked them. I just, to, I just smoked what I smoked and uh, then I kind of got into the YouTube thing and I got really, <laughs> really hooked in, really hooked on the, uh, what I call PAD, Pipe Acquisition Disorder, and it was no looking back. Now I've got CAD, Cigar. Uh, acquisition disorder along with the PAD but this was the first other than well the, no the Savinelli and I bought it as an estate pipe but this is the first new good pipe that I ever bought it's uh, you know that was not a basket pipe This was bought shortly after contracting PAD. This was the first in the in the sickness, that <laughs> and it has always been a good good smoker. Smoked a lot of cherries in this thing. It, it does smoke a cherry good, and it hadn't ghosted. Of course, I've done a salt treatment or two on it. But uh, I'm wearing my Yamaha uh, autograph hat, Yamaha outboard. We went to a big BASS tournament, had all the big dogs there. And they all they were they were giving out Yamaha caps with uh, autograph on. So I got myself Miss Emily one. My wife didn't want one, but Miss Emily uh, has her put up. But. Well, we're getting into that 15 minute mark. Didn't get to do too much rambling today, but. Again, Aaron, thank you, man, for the for the blends. Uh, I think I'm kind of wanting to try this Dutch Master next. I'm I'm pissing up. 
finish off this bowl of symphony and fire up a bowl of that Dutch master. And uh, we'll try to smoke some more here online. And, uh, but thanks again. Look, y'all, take care. Y'all have a good one, and God bless y'all.